guys. I am Anika Larson, aka Green Mom AF, and this is the Broadway vlog to save the planet, where I want to help you go from feeling helpless and hopeless to helpful and hopeful, which is what the UN Global Goals for Sustainability did for me. Today is the first episode when we are talking about the last global goal. We're going to keep you on your toes. And the last global goal is goal number 17, Partnerships for the Goals. Sing it, Gregory. Partnerships for the goals. And here to talk about it with me are two men who do partnerships better than literally anyone I have ever met. The men I think of as the mayor and first husband of Broadway, Seth Rudetsky and James Wesley. Hey, fellas. Hi, Hi Nika. Seth, you're a musician. You play the piano. You've played in Broadway pits and you're constantly doing concerts with fancy people all over the country and all over the world. You're a writer. You've written novels. You've written for TV shows. You write a weekly playbill.com column. You wrote the Broadway musical Disaster. You just wrote musical theater for dummies. And you're the Broadway host on Sirius XM Radio. And with James, you are the co-host of Stars in the House, which is an ongoing series of live streamed fun times and fundraising since the very beginning of the pandemic. James, you are an actor and a singer. You're also a playwright. I had the great good fortune of being in one of your plays on Broken Circle off Broadway. And you're a producer of plays and musicals. And what you both have really become beloved and esteemed for is the way that you have been producers of fundraising concerts. You put them together. You host them. You conduct them. You play for them. You sing in them. You get all your famous friends to perform or speak in them. You make them generally delightful. And you raise a lot of money. Basically, whenever there's a crisis, you guys step up you put on a show, and you help. Stars in the House, how much money have you raised now for the Entertainment it's Community Fund? It's approaching $1,200,000. I mean, it's stunning. What we'd love to just say, it's just really from viewers. It's not like we had these big grants. It's amazing. People send in 10, 20, 30, 50 bucks, and it just added up. It's really, yeah. really nice. And that is pure hustle on your part. The whole community is so grateful to you. I want to say thank you to you. You guys, I am going to tell you what the global goals are. The UN came together and created hashtag the world's to-do list. It's 17 things to accomplish by 2030. All 193 UN nations voted in 2015 to adopt the plan. And it's the idea that we can't have a greener world without a fairer world. That no, it's not sustainable if we're damaging and polluting our oceans, land, and skies. It's also not sustainable if all people don't have access to food, clean water, safety, homes, decent work, health care, education, and equality, regardless of their gender or their race or their beliefs or who they love or how much money they have. It is not a sustainable world until we can all prosper. And all of our 17 problems, as they've broken them down and distilled them, are intertwined and interdependent and intersectional. Sectional. But the good news about that is that in solving any of them, we are solving many, if not all of them. Seth, you are the fastest talker I know. Can you please <laughs> list the global goals as fast as you can? Go. No poverty, zero hunger, good health and well-being, quality education, gender equality, clean water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy, decent work and economic growth, industry, innovation and infrastructure, reduced inequalities, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption and production, climate action, life below water, life on land, peace, justice and strong institutions, partnerships for the goals, votes for women, large or dull. Yes, that was amazing. So, goal number 17. What was that goal again, Gregory? Partnership for the goals. Hey, James, can you please yeah. tell us what the goal of this goal is? It's to strengthen the means of implementation and to revitalize the Global Partnership for Sustainable Development. That's dense. Sing it, Gregory. Strengthen the means of implementation and revitalize the Global Partnership for Sustainable Development. The global goals can only be met if we work together. International investments and support are needed to ensure innovative technological development fair trade and market access, especially for developing countries. To build a better world, we need to be supportive, empathetic, inventive, passionate, and above all, cooperative. Cooperative, because if anyone knows how to cooperate, it's theater people, right? Because it is so collaborative. Could you please tell us some of the organizations that you have partnered with? The Entertainment Community Fund. Broadway Cares, Equity Fights AIDS. You Gotta Believe. God's Love We Deliver. Southern Poverty Law Center. NAACP. Sierra Club. Hearts and Voices. Give Now. ACLU. Texas Civil Rights Project. Council on Adoptable Children. National Immigration Law Center. Al Otro Lago. National Coalition Against Domestic Violence. The GLBT Community Center of Central Florida. Hope and Help Center of Central Florida. Zebra Coalition. International Rescue Committee. The New York Gay Men's Chorus. Greater Orlando Performing Arts Relief. The Trevor Project. Valley Hispanico. Black Theater United. The NAACP Legal Defense Fund. Bailey House. Cancer Support Community. The Humane Society of New York. When We All Vote. And Broadway Green Alliance. Yeah. And the Broadway Green Alliance. Yeah. Yes, fellas. 
was. Um, I mean, hands down, that list covers all the global goals in some way. It really, it's remarkable. Now, globally, if we widen the lens back out of our theater world, just some of the targets of this goal are... The targets! Making sure developed countries follow through on their commitments to assist developing countries financially. Invest in developing countries and help them with sustainable technologies. Cooperate globally to share knowledge and access to science, technology, and innovation. And increase the exports of developing countries and remove their trade barriers. Okay, so folks, you might be wondering, what can I be doing? What can I do? Because our problems can seem so massive and the solutions so out of our control that we feel overwhelmed and helpless. But you are not powerless. There is always something you can do, something that's manageable for you in your life. If we just keep trying to do the next right thing, do the next right thing. Together we can achieve these goals. Yes, yes we, we can. can. Of course, you can always donate money to any of the many organizations that are doing extraordinary work out there. You can volunteer for organizations that are working towards the global goals in your own community and or follow them on social media. Time can be as powerful as money. You can support folks in developing countries by buying products from them. Pay attention to the fair trade label. Yep. Find partners, like-minded people to work with you towards the goals. Do what you are good at and what you love with the people that you love. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, That's what makes us. it fun. It makes it easier. And P.S. Yeah. I just was talking to the Southern Poverty Law Center. Uh, Michael Friedlander said the most important thing is to stay informed and vote. That is the number vote. one thing you can do. Vote. 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 All righty, fellas. We end the Broadway vlog to save the planet with the lightning round. <laughs> the lightning round. Oh, God. Let's start the clock now. What's the most important thing for you to do to regenerate the thing you need to take care of yourself physically or mentally? Sleep. Oh, yeah, I never do that. Snuggling with my doggies puts me in a great mood. What You're activist right or leader would you most want as your high school drama teacher? Oh, Michelle Obama, because she's always like dancing and she, I feel like she's a real theater person, even though I heard that she hated Les Mis, but you know what? It's a long show. What role have you always wanted to play, but have never gotten to play because you were quote unquote, the wrong gender? Oh, hello, Effie Melody White, Dream Girls. Um, I've got the anger, just none of the actual talent. What about you? Grisabella? Oh, actually, you could totally do Grisabella, the glamour cat. It's not, it's not really gendered. And, and it doesn't, there really isn't that much dance. No, he's so I'm okay. He's got all the accoutrements of being a dancer, like the high arches and the cat muscles. I can muscles. show off the arch, and that's and then that'll that'll get me by. Grisabella, you guys, this is the lightning round. Let's speed it up. All right, <laughs> what is the worst survival job you ever had? I'm sorry, what? Dishwasher. Since a revival of a show is basically reusing, recycling, repurposing it, so it's super good for the planet. What show would you want to recycle to star in? A day in Hollywood and that in the Ukraine. Obsessed with doing that show. Name is Jean Valjean. He has all the notes. Well, and he's a dad. Sing Under the Sea from The Little Mermaid. Go. Uh, under the sea, down by the something. That's where it's something. Da 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 da. <laughs> Which of these invasive species in New York City would you most want to lose in a mixed martial arts battle? Rats, cockroaches, or red spotted lantern flies? I feel bad because I'm a vegetarian. Rats. Ding! 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 ding, ding, ding. Thank you, Seth and James, and thank you for watching. We will be dropping 16 more of these vlogs to save the planet all month long, and I will be co-hosting a bunch of Broadway Gives Back podcasts with crossover guests from these vlogs. You can find all of it at bpn.fm slash save the planet. My friends, when you are ever feeling down about it all, know that the climate revolution is a groundswell with more and more people every day out there innovating, problem solving, making good trouble, all in the ways that make sense for them and who they are, and you can too. If we all take Arthur Ashe's advice, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can, then together we are going to make a greener and fairer and more prosperous world.